Other reports now. The First Lady of Nigeria, Oluremi Tinubu, has emphasized that a robust and efficient civil registration system is pivotal to a national development and governance. She was speaking at the official launch of this year's UNICEF RHI commemorative birth certificate at the State House in Abuja. Senator Tinubu says the renewed drive for the registration of every life birth will help the nation achieve the Sustainable Development Goal 16. With UNICEF is to provide a strategic action plan, mobilize leadership and political commitments with a view to accelerating birth registration as part of civil registration and vital statistics systems in Nigeria. I hope that this action embarked upon today will get us on track to achieve the Sustainable Development Goal 16, Section 9, Subsection 2, I quote, a legal identity for all, including birth registration, unquote. Renewed and hope. And this is a light of hope for all children in Nigeria, Your Excellency First Lady. This initiative continues to inspire and drive progress in this area, and UNICEF is proud to stand alongside the government of Nigeria and to work with other development partners to accelerate the universal free birth registration at scale. On the foreign scene now, the World Health Organization has announced that Israel has agreed to limited humanitarian pauses, this to allow for vital polio vaccinations in Gaza. The campaign is expected to vaccinate about 640,000 children across the Gaza Strip and is to commence on Sunday. Senior WHO official Rick Peppercorn says the vaccination will be rolled out in three separate stages across the central, southern and northern parts of the Strip. In another development, Israeli forces have withdrawn from areas of eastern can Yunis this after a 22-day military operation with at least nine bodies recovered so far. China has also joined calls to condemn Israel at the UN Security Council meeting, saying that the same humanitarian catastrophe in Gaza mustn't be allowed to happen in Gaza and mustn't be allowed to happen in the West Bank. At least 40,000 persons have been killed and more than 93,000 wounded in Israel's war on Gaza since October the 7th last year.